يا مسبل الستر يا من حكمك العدل ساري والعفو منا كرم والعفو منا كرم وأنت بي مني يعلم فاستجيب اعتذاري الكشف ما قد ألم الكشف ما قد ألم يا مسبل الستر يا من حكمك العدل ساري والعفو منا Zangu wa kislam na nafunzi kiujumla Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh Tupo katika Nurul Mustafa Katika kipindi cha masomo ya ziada Hususan katika kipindi ichi Wanafunzi mdamuinga kumajumbani Nipombelenu ni ndugu Majid Ali Musa Ntasomesha kipindi cha Form 2 Mathematics Nimechagua uh, topiki ya mwanzo Tanzanayo ni exponent and radical Kwa migawika atika sembili Divide into two parts So I'm going to start with the exponents So these exponents It will tell you how many uh, times the number can be multiplied How many times the number can be multiplied uh, Regard to the different laws of the exponents So example of that numbers I'm going to consider uh, if we have maybe uh, number 4 here, let's say 4 times 4 times 4 times 4. So here, in order to, to, to regard this one as a power, so I have to count the numbers of 4. So how many numbers are multiplied? So here we're going to get maybe 4 times 4 times 4 times 4 times 4. So here become equal to... 4 uh, power 5. So this number can be read as, so here we have to, uh, 4 become as a base and also this 5 become as an exponent. So this, uh, the whole number be read as a, this uh, become the power. So it can be read as maybe 5th uh, powers of 4 or can be read as 4 to the powers of 5th. So that is 4 power 5. So 4 is the base, then 5 become as an exponent, but this whole number uh, become as a power. So if we consider another example, maybe we have 5 times 5 times 5 times 5 times 5 times 5. Just here, you have to count the number of 5s here in order to know the power of 5 or the exponent of 5. So if you count here, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So we're going to have 5 power 6. So this 5 become as a base and this 6 is uh, as a power. So here uh, we're going to read uh, maybe 5 uh, to the 6th power. 5 to the 6th power. Or this one can be read as 4 to the 5th power. 4 to the 5th power. So 4 and 5, we call it maybe as a base. And this 5 and this 6. 5 and 6 are as an exponent. 5 and 6 as an exponent. So I'm going to consider... Uh, the, the following example, maybe here we have the example number one. So be asked, the question is asked, indication of power base exponent uh, is done as follows. So for example here, we have question A up to F. So let us consider maybe three of them here. So just to mention the power, to mention the exponent, to mention maybe uh, the base. So indication of power base and exponent. So question number A, here we have six to the power, to the, uh, to the powers of two. So this one, to indicate the base, this six become as a base. So six become as a base. And here we have a two. 
exponent. So this 2 is exponent. But the whole number is called as a power. The whole number is called as a power. This one are uh, 2 to the powers of 6. So this uh, the whole number become as a as a power. So this 6 square or 6 to the power of 2, this one be called as a uh, power. All of, all of them, the whole number become as a power. So maybe you have example number B here. We have, uh, we have 9 uh, to the power of 3. So here, this 9 as a base, this 3 as an exponent, and this whole number become as a power. So this number is a power number, or the, this number is a, is a power. That's the example uh, number one. And others uh, can be done as I show, show in to you. So let us uh, look, consider to the another example. So here we have example number two. Write the expanded form of the following powers. Because I told you, this uh, the whole number I call it the power. So write the expanded form uh, to the following powers. So let us consider the second example. So maybe uh, example number two here. The question asks, write expanded form of the following powers. So question number A. We have 7 to the third power. 7 to the third power. So here in expanded form, because we say this uh, exponent indicate how many times that the base be multiplied. How many times that the base be multiplied. So here in expanded form, we are going to get as 7 times 7 times 7. So the 3 times we multiply this number. Because this exponent we say it indicate how many times that number be multiplied. So if you consider example B here, we have 16 to the fourth power. 16 to the fourth power. So here, uh, in expanded form, we're going to get 16 times 16 times 16 times 16. So here, this number 16 be multiplied by 4 times because of this exponent. It has the exponent of 4. So another example Maybe we have in terms of fraction here, we have half to the eighth power. Half to the eighth power. So here 1 over 2 or half. So we have to multiply this 1 over 2 eight times. So 1 over 2 times 1 over 2 times 1 over 2 times 1 over 2 times maybe in 8 times. We multiply that number in 8 times. So we reach up to 5. 6 times 7 times 8 times. So here 1 over 2 to the 8th power be multiplied by 8 times. The same number, this base, is being multiplied at 8 times. So another question, maybe you have 205, 205 square, or to the powers of 2, 205 to the powers of 2. So here, we multiply in 2 times. So 205 times 205. So this one in expanded form, we get this way. So another question, which is the last one, 
is E. So here we have negative 4 to the sixth power. Negative 4 to the sixth power. So here we have to multiply this negative 4, the whole number, which is base. So we multiply this negative 4 in 6 times. So negative 4 times negative 4 times negative 4 times negative 4. Uh, we have 4 times negative 4. The sixth one is this one. So negative 4 to the 6th power become equal to negative 4. We multiply this number in 6 times according to this exponent. So that's the exponent. So let us continue with this lesson by doing maybe different example. So we, go, we move to the third example. So we have the expanded form. So the question is asked, write of the following, write of the following in power form. So we have A, B, C, D. So we have to write in the power form. I told you that the number which contains the exponent. So it has the base and exponent. The whole number we call it the power. So we have to write the following in a power form. So let us look, or let us solve this example. So example number three, we have to write the following in a power form. So here, example number three, We have to write uh, the following in a power form. So A, we have 10 times 10 times 10 times 10, times 10, times 10. Question number B. We have negative 3 over 7, times negative 3 over 7, times negative 3 over 7, times negative 3 over 7. Also, question number C. 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 3 times 3 times 3. Question number D. Negative 8 times negative 8 times negative 8. So write the following in a power form. So we have this 10 is multiplied by 6 times. We have to count it. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So this number 10 is multiplied by 6 times. It's multiplied by 6 times. So we have to write in a... يا مسبل الستر يا من حكمك العدل ساري والعفو منك كرم والعفو منك كرم وأنت بي مني يعلم فاستجيب اعتذاري الكشف ما قد ألم الكشف ما قد ألم يا مسبل الستر يا من حكمك العدل ساري والعفو منك
ndugu zangu wa Kiislam na wanafunzi kiujumla Asalamu alaykum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh Tupo katika Nurul Mustafa katika kipindi cha masomo ya ziada hususan katika kipindi hichi uh, wanafunzi muda mwingi wako majumbani uh, ni pombe yenu ni ndugu Majid Ali Musa uh, nitasomesha kipindi cha form 2 mathematics Nimechagua uh, topic ya mwanzo nitanzanayo ni exponent and radical kwa migawika katika sembili Divide into two parts So I'm going to start with the exponents So these exponents it will tell you how many uh, times the number can be multiplied How many times the number can be multiplied uh, Regard to the different laws of the exponents So example of that numbers I'm going to consider uh, if we have maybe uh, number 4 here, let's say 4 times 4 times 4 times 4. So here, in order to, to, to regard this one as a power, so I have to count the numbers of 4. So how many numbers are multiplied? So here we're going to get maybe 4 times 4 times 4 times 4 times 4. So here become equal to... 4 uh, power 5. So this number can be read as, so here we have to uh, 4 become as a base and also this 5 become as an exponent. So this uh, the whole number be read as a, this uh, become the power. So it can be read as maybe fifth, uh, fifth powers of 4 or can be read as 4 to the powers of 5th. So that is 4 power 5. So 4 is the base, then 5 become as exponent, but this whole number uh, become as a power. So if we consider another example, maybe we have 5 times 5 times 5 times 5 times 5 times 5. Just here, we have to count the number of 5s here in order to know the power of 5 or the exponent of 5. So if you count here, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So we're going to have 5 power 6. So this 5 become as a base and this 6 is uh, as a power. So here uh, we're going to read uh, maybe 5 uh, to the 6th power. 5 to the 6th power. Or this one can be read as 4 to the 5th power. 4 to the 5th power. So 4 and 5, we call it maybe as a base. And this 5 and this 6. 5 and 6 are as an exponent. 5 and 6 as an exponent. So I'm going to consider... Uh, the, the following example, maybe here we have the example number one. So be asked, the question is asked, indication of power base exponent uh, is done as follows. So for example here, we have question A up to F. So let us consider maybe three of them here. 